Hello and welcome to ExcelMasterSeries.com. Today we're going to show how to use the exponential distribution to solve problems and we're going to do it in Excel. Let's take a look at our Excel spreadsheet. This is Excel 2003. We'd like to remove the grid lines to make the spreadsheet more readable. So hit Tools, then Options, then uncheck the checkbox next to grid lines. Hit OK, grid lines are gone. Now the exponential distribution is used to calculate the probability of the occurrence of an event that's the result of a continuous decaying or declining process. It's not used to calculate failure rates of devices or lifetimes of organisms. It's used to calculate the probability of time between events in a Poisson distributed process. And the formula for that is the probability of length of time is function of t equals k times e to the negative kt. k is lambda. Let's take a look at a typical problem that could be solved using the exponential distribution and solved in Excel. Uh, this problem reads as follows. A production process has a defect rate that can be described as follows. Time between defects can be predicted by the following exponential distribution function. Time t between failures is calculated by function of t equals 9 times e to the negative 9t. Calculate the probability of a defect being produced within the next one-tenth of a year. And the Excel formula has three different parameters x, lambda, and cumulative. Let's take a look at each one of the parameters that is given in this problem. The first parameter is x, the value that the function is being evaluated at. It must be non-negative, of course. And in the problem, it says calculate the probability that defect will be produced within the next one-tenth of a year. So x equals one-tenth. And the next parameter is lambda. And that can be found from the formula given in the problem. Time between failures is 9 times e to the negative 9t. So lambda is set to 9. You see that from that formula. And the third and final parameter is whether or not we're using the cumulative distribution function. The problem states calculate the probability of a defect occurring within one tenth of a year. Whenever you say within or up to, you're using the cumulative distribution function and not the probability density function. The probability density function would be saying, would calculate the probability that an event will occur exactly at a certain time period. Here, we're using cumulative distribution function, so cumulative equals true. And we could see the formula with the parameters put in there, x equals one-tenth, lambda equals nine, cumulative equals true, produces a value of 59.34% that a defect will occur within the next one-tenth of a year. And in the Excel formula, we show spaces in there. The actual formula does not have spaces. We put spaces in, the, in there for readability. And we look at our interactive Excel chart that we made. It's very easy to make. If we put the cursor on the chart right above the point t equals one-tenth, we'll see that the chart's value agrees with the value that we've calculated using our formula. That is 59.34% that a defect will occur within one-tenth of a year. And it's an interactive chart. Let's vary the lambda and watch the effect in the chart. And this is a chart that can be easily made in Excel. At the end of this video, we'll give you instructions on how to purchase the e-manual. So you make various charts like this for lots of different distributions and do these calculations on Excel. Back to our original lambda equals nine. If you would like to master MBA level statistics in Excel, check out our Excel Statistical Master series of e-manuals at www.excelmasterseries.com slash emanual.php. Thank you very much and goodbye.